I'm here today to evoke the grace of Aphrodite, the timeless charm of Lady Godiva, fully clothed, of course, and the beloved Marilyn Monroe. Ladies, let's stop this silly proposition right here and now. Send to the dustbin of history this preposterous plan of prohibition. Let dresses grace our curves and hips. Deny us not the luxurious feel of silks and satins. Leave those bulky, formless blue jeans for gardening, not galas. <laughs> Dresses favor the pretty and flatter the plain. Dress hams rise and fall according to talented women who are the fashionistas. A woman wears a dress first and foremost because it is what she wants to wear. Oh, mighty sisters. That's not the sisterhood that I know. Hecate and Selene invoke the feminine, not the masculine. <laughs> oh my sisters. Rejoice. The dawn of the gynocentric eon is upon us, and it wears a dress. This Tuesday, vote no on Proposition 1924.